रामाय राम भद्राय राम चंद्राय वेद से रघुनाथ हाय नाथ हाय सीताय फते ए नम उत्तरकांड चैप्टर नंबर सिक्सटीन रावणा इन कैलासा रेसिटेशन बिगिन नाउ O Rama, having vanquished his brother, the Lord of Riches, the King of Rajasas went to the great wood of reeds where Mahasena, Lord Kartikeya, was born. And thus Griva saw the golden wood of reeds, furnished with the network of solar rays and appearing like a second sun and ascending the mountain. He was surveying the heart of the forest when, O Rama, Pushpaka was suddenly deprived of its motion. and the lord of rakshasas could not comprehend how the car which had been so made as to course in accordance with the wish of the rider could have its course impeded and thereat he in company with his counselors thought wherefore doth not this pushpaka course at my desire over this mountain whose act is this thereat maricha foremost of the intelligent ones said that pushpaka doth not course cannot sire be without any cause so it may be that in consequence of pushpaka not having born any other than the bestower of riches it hath ceased its course not having the lord of wealth for its rider as they were speaking thus the attendant of bhava or lord maheshwara nandi terrific of yellow black hue dwarfish frightful with his head shaven having short arms and stout coming up to them spoke these the lordly nandi undaunted addressed the sovereign of the rakshasa saying desist thou dashgriva shankara sporteth in the mountain and now he is incapable of being approached by every one birds serpents and yakshas gods gandharvas and rakshasas hearing nandi's speech ravana wrought up with wrath his eyes coppery and his earring shaking leapt down from pushpaka and saying who is this shankara he came down to the base of the mount and beheld there nandi stationed at the side of that deity sporting himself on his flaming dart resembling a second shankara and seeing nandi who had the face of a monkey the rakshasa derided him bursting out into laughter and seemed as if a mass of clouds were sending roars thereat growing enraged the reverend nandi shankara saw the body spoke unto the shgriva present there O oh, Dashanana, as you derided me for my monkey form, thou hast indulged in a laughter resembling the bursting of thunder. So monkeys endowed with prowess and possessed of my form and energy shall be born for compassing the destruction of thy race. And armed with teeth and claws, and fierce and furnished with the fleetness of thought, and mad for encounter, and bursting with vigor, and resembling moving mountains. and being born they shall crush thy high pride and power along with thy courtiers and sons but o night ranger i can even now end thee quiet yet i must not slay thee for thou hast ere this been slain by thine acts when that high souled god had spoken thus celestial kettle drum sounded and a blossomy shower rained from the sky but without heeding nandi's speech that highly powerful one dashanana coming to the mountain said o gopati i will even approve this mountain for whom pushpaka was deprived of its motion as i was journey it must be known by what influence bhavaswara sporteth here king like he doth not know that an occasion of fear hath presented itself Having said this, O Rama, Ravana, seizing the mountain with his arms, lifted it up at once, and then the mountain trembled greatly. And in consequence of the mountain shaking, the attendants of the deity dwelling in it also shook. And Parvati also trembled and embraced Maheshwara. And then, O Rama, Mahadeva, foremost of the deities, even Hara, as in sport, pressed the mountain with his great toe. and thereat his arms resembling blocks of stone felt the shock and then and there the counsels of the rakshasa were struck with amaze and the rakshasa from wrath and pain felt in his arms set up a cry that shook the entire three worlds
and his counselors considered it as the concussion of the thunder of the universal disruption. And then the celestials with Indra at their head shook on their way and the sea was wild and the mountains shook. The Yakshas and Vidyadharas and Siddhas asked, What is this? Do thou propitiate Uma's lord, the blue-throated Mahadeva, for, O Dashanana, save him thy refuge, see we none in this matter. Bowing thyself down, do thou seek him as thy shelter. Then the kind Shankara on being gratified will confer on thee his favor. Thus accosted by his counselors, the ten-faced one, bowing down to him, having the bull for his standard, began to praise him using various Soma hymns, and the Rakshas had passed away a good thousand years in lamentations. And thereat, that Lord Mahadeva, pleased, set free the hands of Dashanana, stationed at the top of the mountain. And, O Rama, addressed him, saying, Dashanana, pleased am I with thee on account of thy hymns. And as in consequence of thy arms being heard by the mountain, thou hast uttered a terrific yell, which struck horror into the hearts of the three worlds and put them shaking. Therefore, O king, thy name shall be Ravana. The deities and men and yakshas and others living on earth shall call thee Ravana, terror to the creatures. So, O Paulistia, which way thou wishest, and permitted by me, O Lord of Rakshasas, go thou. Thus accosted by Shambhu, Lanka's Lord said to himself, If thou art pleased with me, grant me a boon, who ask thee for it. I have already obtained a boon, bestowing on me immunity from the death at the hands of gods, Gandharvas and Danavas and Rakshasas and Guhyakas and Nagas, and others also are there more of ordinary strength. Man, count I not, O God. They, I deem, are insignificant. I have also, O destroyer of Tripura, received a long lease of life from Brahma. Now I wish to pass the remainder of my days in peace, and do thou grant me a weapon. Thus addressed by him, Shankara gave him an exceedingly effulgent sword, famed as Chandrahasa, and the master of spectres then also granted him peace for the rest of his life. And making the sword over to him, Shambhu said, Thou must not disregard this. If disregarded, it will for certain come back to me. Having thus received his name from Maheshwara, Ravana, saluting Mahadeva, ascended Pushpaka, and then, O Rama, Ravana began to go round the earth and opposed at places by the heroic Kshatriyas endowed with energy and irrepressible in fight, who refused submission, he exterminated them along with their retainers, while other men of wisdom, knowing the Rakshasa to be invincible, said unto the Rakshasa, elated with strength, We have been conquered. Mangalam Koshlindraya Mahaniya Gunapte Chakravarti Dhanurjaya Sarvabhumaya Mangalam